Okay, we're on number five now. And number five is x cubed. Let's see, plus 3x squared, uh, plus 4x, plus 12. On bottom, what do you get? 4x plus 12. All right, the first thing I would do is I would factor the bottom. I notice the bottom factors, because the GCF pulls out, 4x plus 3. Now, my suspicion is the top school is going to have a factor of x plus 3 in it, but you may not see it. My suggestion over here is to use what's called a factor by grouping. So if you look at the first two terms, what factors out from that is actually x squared. And we're left off with x plus 3. From the next two terms, what I notice is a factor of 4 pulls out. So I get 4 x plus 3. Let's go through the steps. My next step is going to be, well, factor an x plus 3 out on top. It's a GCF now. And we're left off with x squared plus 4. What again on bottom? 4 x plus 3. Let's reduce it now. How do I do that? I look for a factor common top and bottom. Although it's a conditional cancellation, we'll put the conditions down later. It cancels off if the conditions are met. And we'll write down the conditions in a moment. Now what are the conditions going to be? The conditions for this to remain true, which would be called a demand of the problem, um, is x not, it's going to be all real numbers by the way. Let me get my eraser out. So it's all real numbers, but x can't be what number? x can't be the number minus 3. All right, and that's it. End of story. Thank you.